Okay, friends. We are in stanza number one hundred eighty-six. This is stanza always going with one hundred eighty-seven too. So, in Dhammapada, as we know, we are explaining the qualities of the Buddha. In this particular stanza, explaining about the qualities who are willing to apply this method to for their day to day life one hundred eighty six na kaha pana vasse na titti kame su vidyati appasada dukha kama iti vinyaya pandito next one one hundred eighty seven api dibbe su kame su ratin so na digachati tannakke rato hoti samma sambuddha savako brief meaning of these stanzas not by a shower of gold coins doesn't contentment arise in sensual places of little sweetness and painful are sensual places no in thus the wise man finds no delight even in heavenly pleasures the disciples of the fully enlightened one delights in the destructions of craving this is the brief meaning of this these stanzas in these stanzas there are few important things that we should uh, pay full attention na khapan vasena titti kamesu vidyati the buddha is explaining the nature of greed nature of greed desire na khapan vasena even though you are having uh, shower of gold coins does not satisfy or oh, i have plenty of coins gold i have plenty of wealth so i don't need to have any more no one is satisfying like this even though they are experiencing gold coin shower this is the nature the reality of your desire or greed so when you are not satisfying thus then always you have you are increasing your goal into different different ways this is the nature of greedness contentment is one of greatest achievement that we should achieve if you have that achievements then you can be happy in karaniya metta sutta explaining some qualities that we should develop ourselves as a meditator as a practitioner as a buddhist follower what are those karaniyam atta kusalena this is the way how that discourse is starting karaniyam atta kusalena you should do you should do this if you are willing to gain your happiness wealthy healthy lifestyle happiness also wealthy and healthy lifestyle you should do this without doing these things there is no way to gain any of these goals for your life this is the nature so one is there contentment is one is there sakko juju su juju su juju chasamu dwara the mani complaining or I mean explaining all these uh, qualities and then there is a one quality contentment easy to support with few duties easy to support with few duties contentment is there you don't have so many uh, thoughts which regarding your desire because the desire is boundless situation 
That's why in here Buddha mentioned ne kahapa na vasse na titti kame suvijjati. There is no boundaries. There is no limit. How much uh, wealth you gain, you don't satisfy with that. This is the nature, the reality of your greed. Therefore, friends, greed is very dangerous. That's why in another place, the Buddha said, main reason for this sansara is desire or tanha then there is another place the buddha said tannakayo nirodu when you are able to eliminate your desire that is the way how you can directly connect for your liberation that is the way how you can gain your liberation tannakayo nirodu so as you know why we are developing our desire because of our ignorance because of our ignorance so without treating your ignorance there is no way to get rid of your desire how much you are blind that much desire is there with you blindness means ignorance so around the world as you know generally people have a goal to gain wealth they sacrifice their whole life effort to gain their wealth so gaining wealth has become a main goal for human beings which is completely opposite the opposite to the buddha's teaching the buddha never mentioned wealth take wealth as your goal for your life buddha never mentioned but in kotadanta sutta pattakama vibhanga sutta and uh, few other discourses even in sigalovada sutta buddha has explained the buddha has explained so many things regarding the wealth we should earn some money for as media because without money there is no way to fulfill your requisites basic requisites to fulfill basic requisites money is the media money is the medium so we have to earn money to fulfill our basic requisites what are those food lodging shelter lodging and shelter and medicine and clothes these are the main basic requisites that we have in our life how much wealth you have these are the requisites that you can satisfy you can't go beyond that how much wealth you have that's it how much wealth you have you can eat according to your belly your stomach how much wealth you have you can wear according to your body how much wealth you have you can sleep only one bed per night but uh, uh, in the moment so when you are sleepy there is no any conditions for that sleepiness wherever you are the body is ready to get rest is happening so there is no any reasons to develop your greed thinking of all these achievements basic requisites therefore the buddha always emphasize as a buddha, uh, uh, for the buddhist followers don't pay full attention don't make wealth as your money as your main goal for your life what buddha said 
money is the way that you can use to accomplish your basic requisites. That's it. Use money to accomplish your basic requisites. That's it. You don't have beyond this anything. So, the nature of our greed is even though we have some of gold coins doesn't contentment arise in sensual pleasure. This is the nature of greed. Seeing this nature, understanding this nature, what we should do, we should understand the reality of your mind, undeveloped mind, particularly undeveloped mind. Why? When you are living with this greedy thoughts, unhappiness would be everywhere. Whatever achievements are there, you are not able to satisfy with your achievements. Generally think about people, people's mind, people's thoughts that you are experiencing, what kind of experiences you have. Always we are focusing on the things that you are not achieved. There are so many achievements with you, but we are not paying full attention to be happy with those achievements. We are always paying attention to things that you not achieve yet. And right away with that thoughts, you're ready to develop unsatisfaction, worries, stress is there. Why? You are paying attention that you not achieve there. So, worry is there, stress is there, anxiety is there. Therefore, friends, what we should pay attention, we should pay attention to the goals that you already achieved in your life. You can be happy. You can be happy, but that is conventional, that is not absolute. Absolutely, there is nothing. Even though someone can say, I have children, I have wealth. The Buddha said in Dhammapada again, Putta mati dana mati tibalo vihanyati. If you are thinking, I have children, I have wealth, it is, a, it is the way how the foolish person think. That is the explanation of the Buddha, the teachings of the Buddha. But conventionally, yes, you can satisfy, you can use that opportunity, all these achievements to be satisfied yourself. But that's not enough. You should go beyond that. Because in Dhammachatka Pavattana Sutta, what Buddha said, as a first thing, Dweme Antapabhajitena there are two paths you're not supposed to apply for your life. What are those? Kame sukama sukalikan yogo, self indulgences And atta kilamatan yogo, self mortification. We're not supposed to stay in any of these paths. This is the basic guidance given by the Buddha in his first Dhamma sermon. Therefore, we born to this world not for achieve, not for practice this. As a human being, we have completely different, opposite responsibility for our life to develop our satisfaction, contentment, which is very important quality, which is very important quality. Now you can see around the world, people are suffering particularly think about the people who gain their power, might be political power, might be uh, power of their wealth, might be power of their uh, physical body. Just reach to them and talk with them and check whether they are happy or not. You can see within a few minutes, they have so many burdens in their mind. They have so many burdens in their mind. Why? They don't take care of their mind. They don't develop their contentment. This quality is very important for our life, particularly to gain our 
satisfaction to be happy we need contentment without contentment no one can even talk about happiness happiness but happiness is a goal for our life it is the goal for the human life happiness we do everything to be happy but we are not able to being happy the things that you already achieve because of our greed greed when you are living with that greed with the help of that greed you increase your hatred you start in your i mean you're developing hatred thoughts why because of your greed or such as such a things are there i was i'm not able to achieve any of these things so you ready to work very hard you ready to see things very differently because you greed anger is there anger is there sometimes the wealthy person he is angry with the body the wealthy one the wealthy person is angry with the body why the nature of body is this is the place for all sicknesses sabrogaanam avaso this body is the place for all sicknesses when that person get that uh, that kind of sicknesses he is angry i have this much money but i don't have any treatment yes there are some sicknesses you don't have any treatment for that you don't have treatment yet maybe in future so now you can see we have experience in covid 19 situation there are uber wealthy people but what they can do with their money with this covid nothing some of them already died some of them are suffering some some of them are protecting with extra extra cash why even though they are wealthy they have lot of wealth but that wealth is useless they can't do nothing with that because this is the nature of all the sicknesses ah therefore friends we are not supposed to develop our greed we have to uh develop our strength to control greed from our mind greed is a thought which is arising in your mind so we have to develop our mind to control our greed this is a wonderful blessings for our life particularly in human world to gain our happiness we should develop our mind to control our desire which is very important titti kame suvijati appasada dukha kama iti vinyay pandito the wise person have different thoughts wise person have different thought wise wise person means not the person who graduated from the universities not the person who is holding a phd maybe double phd not he is not the wise person that kind of people are we consider as a educated people wise person wise people are not the product production of the universities wise people are the people who gain their thinking ability through their practice wise person means who can think deeply widely and quickly he is the wise person not the person who is old in a phd or double phd or triple phd who has uh, patents for such a such a things he is not a wise person they are educated people wise persons are the persons who can think deeply and widely so wise person has different kind of uh, thoughts 
what what kind of thoughts are there they know of little sweetness and painful are sensual pleasures kamanam adinavam kamanam adinavam adinava they know there is some kind of uh, little sweetness with that uh, sensual pleasure but a lot painful situation a lot painful situation is there is the nature seen that seen that nature what they ready to do realizing the truth uh, they ready to api dibbesu kameshu ratinso nadi gachati knowing does the wise man finds no delight even in heavenly pleasure that wise past person realizing the reality he is not ready to develop his desire even about the heavenly pleasure heavenly pleasure in you know generally we also use the word oh now look like i'm in heaven when you are relax when you are relaxing in top up level then you ready to say oh look like i'm in heaven because we have that we have that concept heavenly beings are the beings who are rejoicing in very deep level with sensual pleasure but wise person think in other way the wise man find no delight even in heavenly pleasure even in heavenly pleasure there is no delight for the white person because that person know the nature of any sensual pleasure so the disciples of the pole enlightened one delights in the destructions of craving as a buddhist follower you have to pay attention to understand destructions of sensual pleasure greed when you have greed thoughts greedy thoughts how would be the nature pay full attention and realize that nature realize in that nature use that opportunity that knowledge that experience to increase your quality which we call contentment satisfaction is there even though having little things or oh, i have plenty of things this is the way how we can develop the quality according to the karaniya metta sutta pure duty is with uh, uh, pure duty is an easy to support that kind of lifestyle is very helpful to practice to practice therefore friends asad adinav nissaran these are very important thoughts that we should develop asad yes through your eyes ears nose tongue all these bases through your all these bases yes you can get objects take in that objects there is kind of happiness but that happiness would change in within in one nanosecond this is the nature of sensual pleasure adi nava adi nava mean danger even though you can be satisfied with uh, for a short time period there are so many dangerous situation so many dangerous situation so seeing that danger what we should do what we should develop we should develop our nissarana nissarana mean practice Uh, give in give up let them go let them go when you are hungry 
eat and be satisfied with that don't think think about oh i don't have such a such a things today to eat therefore i am so lucky don't think in that manner whatever the things you have consume in that things be satisfied be happy this is the way how you can manage your greed greed is very dangerous as a buddhist follower we are working against our greed that is one of our duty and responsibility that we have so keep in your mind according to these two stanzas not by a sour of gold coin does contentment arise in sensual pleasure of little sweetness and painful are sensual pleasures no in thus the wise man find no delight even in heavenly pleasure the disciples of the buddha one delights in the destructions of craving try to see the danger of craving greed which is very helpful for you to stay on the path for your liberation to practice noble eight pole path i think that that would be enough for today keep in your mind let us practice this dhamma for our own liberation let us use this opportunity to share merits with others first of all think about departed relatives friends family members and pets who departed name of us by the power of this merits and metators may they all be well happy and peaceful may they be able to get rid of their sansaric journey having that aspiration say sadhu 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 whoever is affected by covid 19 and any other sicknesses by the power of this merits and metators may they all be well happy and peaceful may they be able to get rid of their suffering and pain having that aspiration make blessings upon them say in sadhu 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 may you all be well happy and peaceful all your wishes come true by the power of this merits and metatos may we all be able to attain ultimate bliss of nibbana having that aspiration say sadhu 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 by means of this meritorious deed may i never join with the foolish may i join always with the wise until the time at a nibbana may the suffering be free from suffering may the fear struck be free from fear may the grieving be free from grief so too may all beings be from the higher realms of existence to the lowest may all beings arisen in these realms with form and without form with perception and without perception be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace excellent 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 thank you very much for your participation thank you bhante thank you, thank you. Thank you.